In today's video, I share with you step by step how to edit or trim a live stream after going live on YouTube. First step, you must have done a live stream. All right, so we'll click on the content area. Step two, click on live. Then select the content you want to edit. Once it opens, scroll down to check if it is done processing. Like you can see from here, it is showing white. The end screen and the card is showing white. If you check here and it is showing gray, it means that it is not done processing and you cannot edit it just yet. Number two, do not add any end screen in case it's done processing like and you want to refer them to other videos they should watch at the end of the live stream. Do not add the end screen until you are done editing the video. Third step, go ahead and click on the editor. You can see it's just right here. For video editor on YouTube, you can trim content. You can blow out some images, you can add audio, you can add end screen and info card. For this particular video, we are going with trimming because we cut out some parts of the video that we are not comfortable with. The video is actually a 46 minute video. Play the video, yes, so that you can listen to yourself and see where you are not comfortable with. So at this point, I am actually just greeting people and trying to welcome them into the live stream. So the first thing I want to do is to cut that part out where I was saying welcome, thank you for joining the live stream and all of those. So you just hold the split button right here and then drag the part you want to take out. Alright, so I want this video to start at the point I start making the point of the day. Alright, so I'm just going to, once you drag it, alright, you take note of that and then you continue playing. So you can see that the video is still actually playing. So once I'm done with that, another part I want you to take note of is the setting button here. With the setting button, I can fast forward the video so that it can make my editing faster. So I'll put it in the two minute speed so that it can play fast. So once I select that, I go ahead and play the video so my video can play fast. So as it is moving and maybe I find another place that I want to edit, what I need to do is to click on the split button again. So you can see the split button here. Once I click on it, all right, you will see that the split arrow has appeared again. And I will continue playing the video to know exactly where I want the split to end. So the video is playing now and I want to split it at this point. I go ahead and pause the video come to the split button and drag it to cover the part I want to take out. So you can see me covering that here. All right. Now, another button I want you to take note of is this button here that spreads the timer. Okay. Maybe you have the um and ah you want to remove and it's looking like it's too small. You're not getting it. Just use this to spread out the time so that it can make the cutting easier for you. So I'm going to go ahead to remove all the parts I don't want to be in this video because I don't want this recording to be more than five minutes. So I'll split it and then I will show you the next step. So I've done a lot of cutting. So I'm just going to cut the last one now and then I will show you what that looks like. Okay. So there is no question and then I'm going to be ending with this split. So I'll just split out the last part. Okay, so you can see from here that I've removed a lot of parts. So all these parts that you are seeing are going to be removed from this video. So the next step is to click on preview. Once I'm done previewing it, okay, you go ahead and click on save. It will tell you it might take a few hours for your changes to apply during this time. Yes. So once I'm satisfied with what they have said, I go ahead and click on save and then I wait for it to conclude its editing. So that is how easy it is to edit your video within the YouTube video editor. So you can see video is video is being processed. Please check back later. This process may take an hour or two. While you wait, you may want to watch the video where I explain how to add mid-row ads to your videos. It's the video that appears just about now. 
click it and watch it i'm sure you want to make more money on youtube and adding midro ads to your video is just one step to do that i will see you in the video you're about to watch now